Okay, uh, I think it's time to get started. Three minutes past uh, the, the starting time. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, uh, my name is Sabari. As I mentioned, uh, I'm Senior Vice President with RACNAP. Welcoming you all to this webinar. Uh, we've got uh, some interesting topic to discuss today. You know, for hosters who are into this business, uh, the industry is transforming and we're going to talk about you know, what tactics you need to deploy, deploy to be able to modernize your business. And uh, you know, I have, uh, I'm very delighted to introduce uh, Patricia Helbrand, Senior Business Leader from Plesk, talking about how uh, Plesk uh, has uh, evolved over a period of time and it's not just, uh, just a control panel, it, it's offering you know, a full host of features along with that, the overall solution as well. We'll talk, Patricia will cover some of the aspects there, and then uh, I will talk over a little bit about you know why automation is essential uh, to to run your business and how it will help you modernize it. So with that, uh, I'm happy to get started right now. Uh, in terms of the agenda, what we will focus today is uh, you know Patricia will talk about how the hosting industry has changed, uh, the state of the industry right now as it is. What do you have to do to stand out from the crowd? And uh, you know, how Plesk is able to help you do that? Uh, and then uh, you know, I'll talk about the rack map automation piece, et cetera. And then we'll have some questions as well at the end. But uh, feel free to keep uh, typing them away in the chat window so that uh, as and when we have questions, uh, we'll, we'll start responding to them whilst we go. Okay. Uh, over to you, Patricia, to take it away and then uh, get, get started. Thank you very much, Sabari, and um, thank you very much to all attendees for for joining uh, this uh, this webinar. So um, let me start the session with uh, f the first tip of the day, and I've got a couple reserved for you. So um, my first tip of the day really is: don't be afraid to leave your comfort zone. So what you're going to see and hear today. Um, might be a bit scary, but um, I promise um, everything, uh, all the numbers, the tips and tricks I'm sharing today are proven and we are sure it works. So actually we have seen it implemented and it works very, very well. So why am I talking about comfort zones? Well, <clears throat> to understand that, let's um, have a look back because a long, long time ago in the hosting industry, next slide please. everything was awesome. I think a lot of uh, you who are listening to this webinar today still remember the good old days back in the 90s or even before when you could simply earn a fortune with just selling bare metal. If you looked at the market, um, the competition was healthy these days and all you needed to do in order to get rich was listing some infrastructure specs on a, on a websites. The customers who bought from you were quite tech savvy and understood this techie language very, very well. Shared hosting was a cash cow and customers were keen on getting super stunning, premium, super duper outstanding support from you. So all of those unique selling points were really state of the art. Also, there was absolutely no need to provision the infrastructure immediately upon receipt of order. So the customers were far more portioned than uh, the ones we see today. And they even happily waited for an admin to provision the server space manually or for the login credentials to arrive by regular mail, the good old letter you could find in your letterbox. Next slide, please. So we all know that the things have changed, though, and whether we like it or not, the hosting industry has been in turmoil for quite a while and it still is. So let's quickly have a look at the major pain points a lot of hosting companies um, have to deal with. Market consolidation, of course. So, um, admittedly, the M&A activities we have seen uh, over the past years have slowed down a little bit, but it's also a reality that they are still ongoing. We continue to see a few large guys buying the smaller players in the game, and those smaller brands either completely disappear or get moved under one big umbrella, like the GoDaddy's and Endurance Groups and the United Internets, just to name a few. Next slide, please. Cost per acquisition, um, or in short, CPA, is a very important benchmark for hosting companies, so it's definitely worth to have a closer look. 
So CPA as a key performance indicator tells you how much money you have to spend in order to convince a potential customer to buy your product or service, or in simple words, to buy from you. That doesn't sound very, very difficult, but the tricky thing is that customers buy differently today and do a lot of research via the internet up front. They are sophisticated enough to identify the problem they're having and then try to find a product that does the job for them online. One interesting trend in that context is that a lot of those customers would happily pay a premium for services that solve a particular problem that they have but we see hosters continue to focus on commodities and they continue to speak their own tech language, which isn't the customer's language anymore. In other words, rather than describing the pain points your services can resolve or your offerings can resolve, most hosting websites are still full of bits and bugs. A lot of the customers don't have a clue what you're talking about. And to close this gap, it's getting more and more expensive to generate hot leads and increase sales conversion. So CPAs are skyrocketing. Customers also have the tendency to decide in less than 10 seconds whether they stay or abandon your website. So and here's my next tip for you. Monitor your CPA and take appropriate action if, it, if, it's, um, if it's not going into the right direction. The average shouldn't be more than 30% of the customer lifetime value. And if you spend more or even 70%, uh, like a lot of hosters do, your business is no longer healthy and you should start to worry. So we've already noted that the, that the big guys buy everyone else. And because of their size, the big guys can afford to play the price dumping game. And they sell generic shared hosting or basic VPS offerings for just a few cents or two or three dollars. Additionally, new competitors enter the game and they don't invest in commodities anymore. So their focus is clearly on innovation, on scalability, elastic infrastructure and such. Additionally, they either offer a lot of uh, additional cloud services like an Amazon or strictly focus on one of the on one particular niche um, or customer segment like DigitalOcean. However, in a nutshell, they keep it sweet and simple and that's what customers are looking for today. So what are the hosting companies doing? Interestingly enough, they still try to differentiate by dear old commodities such as support, uptime, certification of their data centers and price. And that clearly cannibalizes margins and isn't cool enough to attract new customers anymore who would, let me repeat that, be willing to pay uh, more. So here's what clients and prospects see. It all looks the same. How should a customer know who's the ideal provider if you all look the same and sell the same infrastructure specs? Let's continue looking at the business uh, from the customer angle. Yeah, admittedly. So one thing remains unchanged for, and that's goodness. It all starts with a domain. Every single web business starts with a domain. But the way you build a website or web application today has fundamentally changed and expanded these days. So I'm pretty sure that you guys all see what's going on in the market, but it looks like that a lot of you don't really know how to respond to these changes and align your offerings accordingly. How do I know or why am I making this a bold statement? Well, simply because at Plesk we reviewed more than 600 hoster and cloud service provider offerings from all around the world over the past month. And guess what? 90% of all the websites we saw were completely outdated and still offered the same old infrastructure speeds and feeds like 20 years ago. So it really looked like the little screenshot you see in the right hand corner. Sabari, I think if you click once more, it should pop up. Exactly. That's what it is. So, um, yes, of course, you're all using virtual analyzation technologies this day, but um, just calling it cloud server isn't um, good enough and it doesn't help the end customer to find the right hosting plan, which addresses his most common pain points. So a lot of hosting companies continue to turn the blind eye. That's what we see. And they prefer to stay on the lazy side of the forest, as we call it. Whenever we speak to partners, we keep hearing that there is no need to change because customers like the local touch. They like um, the, the support, which is, of course, stunning and outstanding. And they respect, the, they respect you for who you are. But in reality, the numbers tell a different story. Hosters are no longer fine. 
So, and clearly, guys, I'm very sorry to say, but um, it's time to wake up because the golden age is over. What you see here in this graph are numbers from Netcraft. So, and the um, the blue graph, which is um, which is uh, leading the way, is showing Amazon, which is clearly dominating the game of web hosting service, um, and it's followed, interestingly enough, by relative newcomers, which are DigitalOcean number two and Alibaba Group number three. Looking at the traditional hosters, or at least where they came from, it's only OVH who's close to keeping up the pace with the other three. Although we can clearly see from this graph that OVH is not growing as fast as the others. So, and then when you look at all the colorful graphs that are sitting at the bottom of, uh, of this chart, you can see some micro peaks, yes, admittedly, but if you dive uh, into the details a bit deeper, um, the numbers show that those peaks are very often um, driven by m and activities rather than organic growth. So the question, of course, now is what can you do to deal with the market turbulences? There are multiple ways, no doubt. But my next tip for you, and I couldn't have said it better, is a quote from Mr. Peter Drucker, who is an Austrian-born American management consultant. And um, he has been described as the founder of modern management. So the interesting thing is he was born in 1909. And he said that the greatest danger in times of turbulence is not the turbulence, but to act with yesterday's logic. I think it's a fascinating advice and it's still valid in the year 2018. Next slide, please. However, uh, before we continue, so there's one important question we need to tackle, and that is, well, what about the hosting market? Is it saturated and is the internet no longer growing? Heck no. Next slide, please. The market is still growing like crazy. There are thousands and thousands of new websites created every day, and they all need to be hosted somewhere. So the question now is, where is this growth taking place? In a different galaxy? Well, not really. Let's have a closer look at some web trends and how you, as a hoster, can address those trends to create sticky offerings, increase ARPU, and reduce churn. At Plesk, understanding market insights, web trends, uh, customer buying behavior, etc., is very important to all of us. So um, numbers, facts, um, industry uh, research results, um, and additional depth analytics drive our product mode roadmap, defines our sales strategies, and, de and determines our marketing efforts. So let me share some of those valuable insights with you today. And it's only going to be high level because of the time. And uh, start with the question, which customer segments should be important to the hosting industry and what it is they are looking for? As I said, we love numbers. So let me start with a number. Does anybody know what uh, this number means and what is so exciting about it? So don't be scared to speak up if you can or uh, type it in via, via chat. Well. 31.6% of all websites worldwide are built with WordPress. That is already a lot, and uh, this number is still steadily growing. According to W3 Techs, uh, nearly one third of all websites that are built with a content management system are built with WordPress, and that translates into a market share of almost 60%. And again, it is still growing. If you are in a market where WordPress is not yet that popular, so um, have a look at the left-hand side. So 47.3%, um, which is a little less than half of all websites, are built with simple website builders, which also represent a good sales opportunity for hosting companies. However, bear in mind that more and more hobbyists start to use WordPress and um, if you look at a bit of the um, uh, reporting history of W3 Techs, um, you will see that the non-CMS share um, continuously declines uh, for the favor of WordPress. In other words, it's, uh, the numbers clearly prove that um, WordPress usage is consuming um, the numbers of the non-CMS usage. Another number for you, 90%. Now, what does that mean? Nearly 90% of all developers worldwide use Git as a source control system. But 
if you look at hosting offerings, it's very hard to find. Only a few hosters offer it. Also, 90% of the web agencies use Git to manage the, website of their, the websites of their clients. But when it's time to push to production, they have to use what the hoster provides. And believe it or not, in most cases, that's dear old-fashioned and slow FTP upload. Can you believe it? Unfortunately, it is a reality. Developers present a massive opportunity, though, for hosting companies. Um, the estimations um, from key analysts in the market vary, but um, they all agree that the overall number of developers is still growing. So besides the professional developers, which, yes, admittedly, uh, only want to use their, um, their terminal and, and type everything in by hand, so the number of what um, the analysts identify as hobbyists or, let's say, uh, beginners um, is steadily growing. So just think of all the 12-year-old kids belonging to the digital uh, native generation who already start coding. At the moment, their parents buy the web space for them. But in a couple of years, they will do it and they will have to buy it from you and they will need your services. So to sum it up, um, my next tip for you. So what you have to do is to give your customers the ability to do what they can't do today, but would if they only knew how. And that's not as difficult as you might think, because you've already got all that knowledge and you've already got those skills. You just need to translate it into the right language. At Plesk, admittedly, we, we started to accept the new normal um, already quite a while ago. And um, yes, it was sometimes a painful process, but getting started, admittedly, can be a bit of a hassle, but um, it gets easier every day. So, and we began our transformation from a basic control panel to a flexible webbox platform more than two years ago. Like all the others, we started many, many years ago in the good and dear old 90s as a basic control panel with uh, all generic control panel features built into the core. So with PLES, you could manage your infrastructure, add domains, uh, manage ma mailboxes, databases, and all that stuff. Now. This still remains an important part of our product DNA, but Plesk Onyx provides you with an integrated toolbox to build and sell tailored solutions. And we call that toolbox the Plesk Extensions Catalog. It comprises of more than 100 extensions today and offers a broad range of free, freemium and commercial extensions. Technically, um, we are even uh, considering new features uh, as an extension and launch them through the extension catalog. This is very important because we can now continuously deliver updates. We don't have to touch the core. It doesn't force you to migrate. And um, if there is a bug fix, chances aren't very likely, but sometimes it happens, uh, we can fix them on the fly without touching the solid core. Customers love it because they only install what they want and when they need it. So we're not consuming computing resources unnecessarily. So if you think that this is too good to be true, I can tell you, not at all. So uh, join in and let's have a quick look at um, our extension Rockstars and begin with the WordPress Toolkit. Um, the latest version of the award-winning WordPress Toolkit is available for free from Plesk Onyx 17.8 Web Pro and Web Host Editions. What's new about it? Well, it's completely written in modern JavaScript technology to make it super fast, clean, and user-friendly, and always follows real workflows of WordPress users. So over the past two to three years, we interviewed countless web agencies and WordPress users of different skill levels around the globe because we wanted to understand how they work and what they need the most. So Plesk WordPress Toolkit is completely based on that knowledge and addresses the most common pain points of that WordPress community. And we're raising the bar every single month by publishing more features and improvements via continuous delivery to all users. And here again, this is why it's important that we launch it as an extension, because <clears throat> there is nothing the user needs to do, as in going through some painful migrations or any other um, disruptive uh, tasks. 
So you can already hear that I'm very excited about it and I could easily talk for one hour about all the cool features of the WordPress toolkit, but um, in the interest of time, let's have a look at the most innovative uh, feature in that context, that's smart updates. Um, with smart updates, we use the power of automation and artificial intelligence or deep learning technologies to be precise. Next slide, please. So what is so special about it? Um, the biggest hassle of the WordPress uh, community is if they need to update uh, the WordPress core. So with smart updates, you won't break your production sites um, anymore when you install those WordPress updates, and that is guaranteed. The, you can simply use the automatic mode that keeps all your the WordPress sites um, always up to date, and that includes plugins and um, themes. And um, will or the, the smart updates feature makes sure it will never break your production site again. So if there is an issue, the WordPress toolkit will send um, the owner of the WordPress instance an email with screenshots um, describing the, the exact issue or the root cause. And then it lets you decide how you wish to continue. So um, you have the cho choice between applying the changes or rejecting them. And is, this is your choice and totally under your control. And the best is that the AI system even recognizes videos or animations on a website correctly. And um, if you if it discovers some unwanted line breaks, missing pages um, or corrupt images, it'll alarm you immediately to take action before it goes to production or before the production site is affected. It's absolutely amazing. Besides WordPress, um, WooCommerce and Git and all the other stuff, here's a summary of the most popular technologies web developers and web professionals are using today and looking for. So and everything you see here in those little white boxes is available via the Plex extension catalog. And thus, this is your business opportunity to sell targeted solutions. How do you do this? Well, you simply analyze your customer base or identify the target audiences you want to reach out to. And uh, both Plesk and RagNap are committed to help with more detailed information if you really want to get into this. And we have more tips and tricks to share about uh, the buying behavior of those particular audiences or which um, extensions address their most common pain points. So the call to action is simply have it your way and we'll be happy to help. So it really is your focus that determines your reality. As a hosting business, it's really very, very important to stand out from the crowd, to find your niche and um, focus on selling what we call solutions and not just generic infrastructure. So, and Sometimes hosters believe that um, this is a brand new idea that um, would kill their existing business or would be disruptive to the current business. Guaranteed, it's not. It's complementary. And in all honesty, with Plesk and RegNap, it's easier than you think. Why? Because just have a look at the recipe. It's really simple. You just take any existing infrastructure you have anyway. You bundle it up with a Plesk edition of your choice. You add the corresponding Plesk editions from the extension catalog, um, and then you can provide higher security standards, you can increase website performance, you can include backup, etc., etc., etc. And last but not least, very important, monetize the skills you're having anyway and add additional services or even sell managed services for a premium fee. So as a result, you will see um, the average revenue per user going up and as well as the operational margins. Your office suddenly becomes sticky and your clients will be happy. And as you all know, happy clients stay. If you think, still think that this is far too complicated, we have um, even more available for you. So if you don't want to create your own recipe and your own tailored solution, um, you can even take one of the two ready-to-go solutions we have available on the shelf. So um, we put them together by again, looking at our numbers, and uh, we bundled our top sellers together. So there is just one single SKU you need to deploy and provide your customers with a true WordPress server, which already includes smart updates and other premium extensions for extra security, website performance, and uh, productivity. So and again, it's easy to get started. One SKU does it all. 
same principle, different target audience. So if you are aiming for uh, startups and SMBs, as an example, there is only one single SKU for the business, Plast Business and Collaboration um, Edition. And um, that includes a secure turnkey solution, including business class email and collaboration and backup and um, that stuff. Next slide, please. So to sum it up, as you can see, it's not a lot of work to really stand out from the crowd and differentiate from your nearest competitor. So um, only a few steps for you to take, so to not look the same anymore. And um, very important tip, don't forget that if you're not selling the solutions, your nearest competitor will. So to uh, sum it up, We've already talked about two important factors, and I know it's been a lot of information, um, how to stay profitable in uh, the hosting industry and the cloud business. So um, it's, again, let me, let me repeat, it's very important to know and understand your customer because you are the technical expert and customers truly rely on you when uh, they want to make a purchase decision. So again, leave your comfort zone, speak the customer's language. Focus on the top three pain points when you promote your offerings. Infrastructure specs, honestly, they come second. A lot of customers either don't understand the speeds and feeds anyway, or they simply don't care. Cell solutions, not just infrastructure, is our strong advice. And with Plesk extensions, you can easily upsell existing customers as well. So just think out of the box, the sky's the limit. And again, we are very happy to help. So just reach out to, um, to us and um, we can schedule a separate session to uh, share more insights and um, look at some uh, tailored solution for you and your customers. So the third factor is a very important one too, but um, that's not my area of expertise. So that's why I'm going to shut up now and leave the stage to Sabari and um, the RECNAP information. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Patricia. Appreciate uh, the insights. Uh, I think uh, to summarize it all, you know, uh, Plesk has evolved from being a simple control panel to be a complete web ops platform, you know, helping hosters to transform their business and, and then be able to, you know, offer full blown solutions as such. So uh, uh, hope, hope uh, that was insightful for everyone and certainly for me, for sure. Uh, with that said, I want to play a little bit more emphasis around you know, automation, you know, and what, what, is, what does lack of automation lead to, you know, so if you, if you don't have any automation to the way you deliver your services, you know, you cannot scale up with that because at the end of the day, when you want to grow big numbers and volumes, uh, you need to have some efficient way of doing things and with without automation, you will be doing it much slower, you will not be able to grow. It leads to bad customer experience because, you know, customers are having to wait for services to be delivered and you I mean hosting industry is transforming very 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 fast and uh, you will not have the ability uh, to innovate because if you're continuing to use your own homegrown software which you're very attracted to which you're very passionate about you may not uh, you know innovate fast enough and the competition would outrun you as such and then because you're doing everything you know, in a manual way, uh, the, the cost of running a business becomes pretty high. So, so all of these are a result of a lack of automation in your business. And, uh, you know, to, to sum it up, why do you need automation, you know, to pretty much, pretty much solve the problems, what I mentioned earlier, you know, to be able to, you know, provision services faster, to be able to build your customers accurately, to manage your hosting and cloud services with minimal dependency, because, people are getting impatient and they cannot wait for services to be delivered so you need to have some automation in place uh, you need to efficiently run your business because uh, you know profitability comes at the at, uh, at a price whereby if you are running services and your operations inefficiently you know you are having to give up on the profits as such so with automation you're able to help run your business faster you can with a unified automation platform you know you can manage your 
your support sales functions all within one panel you know and and with that you'll be able to give you know a customer experience a, a, a good a customer experience i would say okay? and also with automation you'll be able to scale up your business much much faster Okay. And this is where RackNap comes in. So RackNap is the automation tool which satisfies some of the, the, pay, uh, the items what I mentioned earlier and to be able to help you grow your business faster. So uh, what, what is what is RackNap? You know, RackNap is primarily uh, an automation and a billing tool targeted at uh, you know, cloud solution providers, web hosting providers like you, helping to uh, sell cloud services in a much more automated way, selling web hosting services in a much more automated way, et cetera. Okay? And apart from the provisioning aspect of it, you also would want to be able to build a customer on a recurring basis because everything is moving towards subscription billing option and everybody wants to be billed based on actual consumption and and this is where RackNap is able to help you run your business efficiently provision services efficiently and bill based on actual consumption subscriptions etc and then if you look at uh, you know the other range of services what RackNap is able to provision and handle you know it can handle in you know, a provisioning of office 365 under the csp program azure under the csp program aws uh, etc along with other private cloud offerings but but the most important thing how RackNap evolved is primarily by being able to offer domain which is the fundamental crux of hosting a website and then be able to offer you know web hosting plans with the plasma and the plastic extensions combined together that's that's pretty much the primary focus how RackNap evolved and aside to the provisioning of services and billing RackNap also has end-to-end -end back end capabilities around uh, support ticket management for your end customers ability to manage your sales and marketing functions and if you have data center based assets or inventory uh, RackNap can help them manage that as well so if you look at the story of how RackNap evolved over the years, you know, Zenet Live is one of the hosters uh, based out of India. And, uh, you know, they were selling a multitude of services for a number of years. They started out selling host uh, domains and and uh, they were using, uh, they were selling hosting as well. So way back in 2009, they realized that they needed to uh, have an efficient way of running their business. They decided, they were thinking, okay, I need to have some automation tool to run my business efficiently. So they started developing something in-house and uh, in 2013 they came up with the first uh, uh, full release of that and they started using the tool for hosting services and and primarily Plesk was one of the first service which they launched for automatic provisioning so back um, in or about five years ago and they started migrating all the legacy data from WHMCS etc onto onto uh, RackNap and with Plesk as the main control panel so uh, uh, all of this started way back in 2013, and then uh, RackNap was integrated with cloud services as the cloud started booming, and then it was commercially launched as a product in the market in 2016. So uh, RackNap's humble beginnings became or came about from a hoster wanting to have an automation tool. So you can see uh, quite a number of in-depth things uh, developed from a hosting perspective. That's one of the fundamental crux of how RackNap evolved. And if you look at uh, you know the, the functional overview of what RackNap is all about, RackNap helps uh, customers to buy directly via a marketplace. You know all of the services uh, which a hoster would want to offer to his end customers, right? So if you look at it, the customer may be able to buy you know Plesk control panel with its extensions bundled, for example, sitting on top of let's say a hosting plan or a shared hosting plan etc or on a VPS etc and aside to this RackNap also has the ability to you know offer you know the traditional services which include domains and SSOs and etc combined with the cloud offerings put together and as you may have heard uh, you know uh, GoDaddy is is moving everything into the cloud so um, naturally we are also seeing a trend whereby hosters are also moving from data center based uh, uh, solutions to offering uh, in things in the cloud as well and this is where RackNap is able to help whereby it can help provision traditional services 
and the new age hyperscaler based solutions in in one platform that's one of the unique features of how ratnap is able to handle this and all of these back end functions you know helping for example the marketplace which is offered by ratnap is is uh, is a wordpress based marketplace helping you to manage your content etc on your website uh, being able to sell products via the website ratnap can help build customers on different billing models uh, it offers a self service control panel for the customer to be able to manage his services etc so there are plenty of other features in here and aside to the direct selling model where customers can buy directly customers can also buy via partners or resellers who source these from the distributors they also get a similar website and similar functions are enabled for them as well so so to summarize you know ratnap is is an end to end automation tool helping to uh, to manage everything from the time a lead comes onto your portal till the time the services are delivered and support uh, tickets or action for the customer so the full life cycle of the customer which is in a typical fashion an erp is 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 what ratnap is all about helping to run your business efficiently and profitably okay so looking at uh, you know some of the things what patricia was saying earlier if you look at uh, the, the share of the wordpress in in the market as such 31.6 percent of the entire world's websites you know uh, constitute or run with 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 wordpress as as a primary focus so uh, plesk has built a pretty wonderful uh, WordPress toolkit available and uh, made available and uh, Ratnap is able to help to provision you know the plus control panel install licenses on top of it using uh, a direct connection with KA, KA key administrator plus etc so if you look at it uh, Zenit live is offering WordPress so powered by plus onyx the latest version of plus and if you look at it this is what the typical customer would see and this web page as you can see is powered by racknap as well or designed as a part of the racknap deployment and these are the different plans on offer distinctly mentioning about what capabilities each one of them do how are they different from each other etc uh, the customer just chooses one of those plans offers and chooses one of the default domains to go with for associating that wordpress website with and subsequently if you can see here on the right hand side it's actually a free trial option is also available right now is able to help you offer this to your end customers as well and then uh, you know this is added to the cart a typical standard purchasing flow if i'm an existing customer i put my details in here uh, that gets authenticated with the ratna platform and then uh, you know the services get provisioned as such because there's no payment really needed uh, because it's just a free trial and if you look at it uh, the customer has now been provisioned with a wordpress uh, uh, <clears throat> account as such and if you see here this is the actual end user control panel which racknap offers where the customer is able to manage his services customer is able to manage his support interaction with you as the hoster and he's able to look at his billing options as well now these are primarily the three key functions which a typical customer would work on and racknap gives your customer a end user control panel so the service which the customer has purchased is available here for you to see and uh, you know for example the customer can be enticed to renew his service right now or you can also allow him to upgrade to you know a lengthy option lengthy uh, billing cycle option as well enabling you to increase your cash flow so effectively uh, racknap helps you with uh, renewal options and uh, with the billing options as such racknap can handle prepaid option postpaid option pay per use options so all of these three options are available as well okay and if you look at it specifically from a WordPress perspective, this is a particular WordPress startup plan provisioned by, by the customer. This is the particular website which was uh, associated with it. The username and password details are on here. And the customer can actually directly log into his 
Plesk control panel to manage his website directly there. So there's directly single sign on available. That the customer just needs to click on log into your panel and then it takes them straight into the panel. And before we go there, let's look at a couple of other informations available here. The customer purchased a one month plan. So the next new due date is one month from the date of subscription cost start, the billing cycle, the amount, what he will have to pay next time when he comes for renewal, etc., is all clearly laid out. And if you see here, now that the customer has clicked on login to control panel, he's automatically logged in to the Plesk control panel. And this is white labeled with your own branding as well. So uh, if you are a hoster and, uh, you know, this control panel will have its brand, your branding as well. And if you see here, these are all, uh, you know, really functionalities which you can work with inside the Plesk control panel, uh, being able to, you know, install WordPress, Press, update your pages, et cetera, et cetera. You know, as, as, as Patricia mentioned earlier, uh, the, this is very refreshing. And if you can see here, it's relatively built, uh, you know, with, with, with all the capabilities, what you would expect uh, uh, to be able to run a very efficient uh, website with, with all the plugins, et cetera, as well. So quite a very good job done by the Plus team to be able to offer a fully blown feature rich control panel and RackNap is is able to provision uh, uh, a plus control panel automatically at the time of a WordPress uh, hosting plan purchase. So that's that's the, this particular hosting plan as we mentioned is is primarily provisioned against uh, uh, hosters in a hosting data center uh, in their own premises, etc. As well. So now, with with uh, if you look if you remember the the visual I mentioned about the Rackna functional overview, apart from offering you know traditional services as such, you know Rackna is also able to you know provision and you know, hyperscaler based offerings as well. So for example, uh, with with uh, uh, AWS very tightly integrated with RackNap, where it's able to provision AWS based instances and have Plesk installed on top of those instances automatically. Right? So if you look at how AWS is offered by this hoster, you know, AWS, uh, you know, is, is, is there is a website page created here and all of the plans and details and everything are clearly laid out around the features, the pricing, et cetera, what options are available, et cetera, as well. And here, uh, the customer is able to choose the various options in here at the time of purchase and the control panel also can be selected by the customer. So uh, you as a hoster can think about bundling, you know, your hosting control panel along with the cloud offering as well, so that it becomes sort of a value add for how he is able to, you know, efficiently use that for running his business, etc. The customer is able to select different billing options, and then once the plus, once the uh, VM instance from AWS is provisioned. Plesk is installed on top of it automatically, you know, helping the, the customer to be able to manage uh, that, uh, that instance uh, very eff efficiently using Plesk as such. So if you look at the purchasing behavior, once the customer has completed the purchase, he gets to see those details in his control panel. So the customer has provisioned a CX large instance uh, in, in, in the Mumbai data center with this particular spec, et cetera. So if in this scenario, if you look at it, the customer's actually provisioning a prepaid instance of, of AWS. And because Plesk is also provisioned automatically on top of it, the customer can directly log on to the plus control panel and manage that VM instance directly from there as well. So quite quite a quite an efficient way of doing this. Uh, and with 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 Plesk having tightly worked uh, and with tightly integrated with RackNap, uh, it's it's able to offer this ability for the hosting community and the the, the cloud consumer as well. Okay. So, so far, what you have looked at was the purchasing behavior of a customer, how it was seamless to be able to make an office, uh, make a AWS purchase with combined with Plesk and also uh, a purchasing of a WordPress hosting plan combined with Plesk as well. 
So I'll do, do a very quick roundup of uh, the administration capabilities for you as a hoster as to what are the things which you can perform and handle. So for example, this is an administration control panel where you can see a number of menu options available based on roles and privileges. You are able to look at appropriate functions. This is a particular customer record showing details of the customer with all the relevant details against that profile, etc. And the bright green because the customer does not owe any money etc so visually giving you a hint that this is a uh, customer's credit worthy etc and looking at the products and services you can look at the wordpress site what we provisioned earlier along with all the details of when it was provisioned because it was a trial account uh, 30 day trial for zero dollars zero rupees and then uh, at the end of the re renewal cycle the customer will have to pay 699 to be able to renew it etc so all of this uh, details are available under the products and services section and if you look at you know the wordpress uh, a service which is provision the details of that service the renewals all of that etc is all clearly laid out as well okay and from a billing standpoint you know at the end of the day you know you want to run your business efficiently and be able to bill your customers as well on accurate basis and timely basis so under the billing options you can look at the order which was received and the details of you know how the you know what state the order is uh, and the pricing etc cetera, etc cetera, as well is clearly laid out for you to manage the delivery of the service to your customer okay? And uh, this is from an AWS perspective, as we saw earlier under the products and services section of the customer, the details about how the service details are represented for AWS is also clearly laid out. Okay. So uh, these are some of the other low level details in, in there against the customer's record. And, and uh, one of the main things what we talked about was how to efficiently run your business and save costs. For example, the, the, this is an example of you know, a business case where you can look at efficient cost savings uh, you know, in terms of uh, placing orders and running a business manually without RACNAP. For example, processing an order takes typically about 75 minutes, which is talking to the customer, collecting the order, raising a PO, putting it on the system, generating an invoice, sending it to the customer, talking to him again, confirming it. And it typically takes about 75 minutes. So with RACNAP, you are able to do all of that in the self-service mode, customer being able to purchase it online, pay for it online, invoiced online, and emailed all the details as well real time. So with which all of this can be transacted completely within 10 minutes. You're significantly saving a lot of time even just in one transaction. So if you have multiple number of transactions, even if you assume five uh, orders per day, you're you're literally saving a you know, literally total of five hours in total. So that adds up to about 100 hours for the month. And if this, uh, if a member of staff is assigned for for that uh, task for handling all the orders, the total monthly savings effectively on a salary of about you know, 5,000 is, is about $2,500. So on a monthly basis, you will be able to save this much. And that translates to a yearly cost savings of $30,000 in total. So this is a, a, an indicative business case for a hoster you know, who can look at the amount of cost savings compared to doing it manually versus doing it automatically. Okay. So just to summarize the value proposition, I know it's in the, it's we're running out of time right now. So to quickly rattle through the stuff, RackNap offers a unified marketplace to sell your cloud and hosting services together in one place. RackNap is able to cater to the needs of uh, resellers, and the end customers effectively handling the B2B and B2C, handling different billing options, prepaid, postpaid, pay per use, offering a self service control panel to the customers, giving ticketing ability for the customer to interact with a service provider or hosting provider to be able to solve issues, track the entire sales lifecycle from the time a lead comes from the portal to be able to, to be converted to a customer, and with the platform actually built by a hoster and a CSP for the hosters, uh, the, the the DNA of the of the of the product has hosting in it, and you can see a touch of how it can help uh, in a hosters to transform their business as such. Okay. 
and uh, and one of the challenges what a typical hosters face is being able to acquire customers and I think Patricia was talking about CPA cost per acquisition so that is increasing by the day and RackMap has a comprehensive GTM feature which helps to increase your reach uh, via social media blogs increase engagement of your uh, business with the customers by uh, by engaging on webinars blogs ebooks campaigns and conversions as well increasing through free trials and promotions RackMap offers a full-blown comprehensive GTM uh, approach to be able to help you acquire customers at minimum cost. It offers a full-blown automation platform, which we just saw. And aside to all of this, you know, with some of these services becoming commoditized, uh, you certainly will be exploring new avenues to to uh, to actually make better profits or more profits. And this is where, you know, RackNab's uh, offering around managed services could help you to run your business more efficiently and help your customers you know, manage their infrastructure as well. So RackMap offers managed services as well. So this is a comprehensive portfolio which RackMap is offering. And these are some of uh, you know the deployment options for hosters, etc. There is a basic plan of RackNap with which you can get started pretty quickly. There are slightly advanced plans where you can deploy RackNap on your premises or in the cloud. And for large providers, also there are pretty customized offerings as well to be able to help them as well. Right? And RackNap has, an, has a good alliances with Microsoft, AWS, and Plesk. Plesk has been in close association with us for, for a number of years right now. Aside to this, we have integrations with a few other providers as well. So which means that you have a breadth of offering which you can offer via the RackNap portal. And these are some of the integrations coming shortly. Uh, you know, a lot of hosters are using G Suite as a part of their offering. Zabbix from a monitoring perspective. QuickBooks for integration with accounting tool, etc., as well. And the Google Cloud Platform is also pretty heavily used by the hosting community. These are some of the new integrations which are coming up, uh, coming up shortly. So uh, RackMap has had a tremendous partnership with Plesk for a number of years, and I'm sure with a combination of uh, RackMap and Plesk, we'll be able to help you uh, succeed in the transforming hosting business, and then be able to modernize it as well. So I hope you got a sense of uh, you know all the things what you need to do to be able to modernize your hosting business. So I'm happy to uh, open up the floor for any questions. You may start typing them on the chat window as well. So I'll give a couple of minutes for for you to type them away. Uh, we'll, we'll watch actively watch the space the chat window and I'll answer them as they come. I think there is a question about can RackNap be deployed in the cloud or in the data center? Uh, yes, RackNap can be deployed uh, on uh, on the cloud as well. For example, in AWS or Azure, or in your data center for sure. Okay. Uh, let me wait uh, if there are any questions. I'll give another 30 seconds. Okay, uh, looks like uh, you're happy with what you're seeing, and uh, you know, with that living thought about may the may the force be with you, and contact us for any questions as such. You can get in touch with us at uh, touch at racknap.com. Um, and uh, I think there's probably a question maybe for Patricia. Um, <clears throat> no, I think it's probably a question relevant to RackNap. So how different uh, is uh, is RackNap, other service different from other service products except Plesk Edition? 
uh, or migrations are also provided. Yeah, so uh, RackMap can help you with migrating, uh, you know, your existing uh, services on to RackMap. So we certainly can work with you as well. So we are very conscious that uh, you know you have an existing business running. So with where we will be able to help you uh, with migration. So as you saw earlier in the slide, you know, Zenit Live being a hoster, you know, they moved from the traditional offerings to RackMap uh, with respect to migrating their hosting data and the customer data so we do have prior experience of doing that as well so happy to talk to you please write to us at touch at we can help you with a migration and uh, i think there was uh, one other question about how different it is compared to other service providers apart from the plus condition so i think if the question is relating to uh, you know how does racknap differentiate itself so i think the usb slide what i mentioned earlier is racknap helps you to provision cloud and on cloud which could include the hosting services as well it offers an end to end uh, you know erp kind of platform you know, helping you to manage from the leads to the support aspect as well and uh, apart from this as well you know helping you to transform and modernize your business because everything is moving from you know a home homegrown data center based solutions to cloud based offerings and racknap with the ability to offer both kind of offerings really is is pretty pretty unique in that aspect Okay, uh, with respect to the licensing model, uh, I think there was a brief mention of that as well in the slide earlier. If I go back to the slide mentioning about the licensing model, so RackNap offers a, a, a basic SaaS model where there's no deployment free, you can sign up for $0 and then you just pay a standard fixed platform fee on a monthly basis. You also have a dedicated installation model as well where you are able to install it in your own premises and then for that the deployment fee is $250 per month and then uh, the platform licensing and revenue cost is typically a 2% revenue share model and we also have other option models as well a fixed cost user model perpetual licenses so we have multiple options aside to whatever is mentioned here so please uh, get in touch with us at uh, touchatracknet.com we'll be happy to explore uh, you know further options with you as well okay uh, with that, uh, I don't think there are any more questions as such. So thank you very much all for your time. Thank you, Patricia, for uh, for a wonderful session earlier as well. I hope uh, everyone found the sessions uh, useful. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, send a recording of the session as well to all of you. And thank you for staying back and listening in and have a great day ahead. Thank you.